Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother Wab Ramya. Back with another lesson, Lord willing, to be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Wahara Kakwadash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And Shalom to the 144,000. The men of the Lord you see preaching and prophesying on the highways and byways in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and the correct doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Also, Shalom to the one third men, women, and children that will escape the judgment of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai by faith. And also, <laughs> uh, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. I'm going to get right into it, man, because we're reaching the time of this dollar being crashed, man. And, and things are being put in motion. And like I said before, we can't tell you when this thing's gonna happen, but we're very, very, very close. About to see the biggest crash in history. You'll never ever see another crash like this. And I'm gonna put it into very simple terms so you understand it. It's like being on a plane and all of the engines fail. All of the banking system is failing right now in plain sight. All of it. And the plane, without any engines, will crash. Now, people have said to me, so why can't we just get, repair it? Well, liken it to like an aerospace engineer hopping out of the window on a plane and repairing the engine. It doesn't work like that. We are going to crash. And the crash is not going to be nice. But it's down to each and every one of you to brace yourself. Prepare yourself. And we know we know all the nations are going digital, and uh, start with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone have warned us of this, man. And you, you, you can't say you didn't know. The MOT, which is the mark of the beast, is is coming, man. It's gonna hit the stage. And as you see right here, this UFC fighter Bryce Mitchell gives dark warning about Elon Musk's Neuralink, man. Which the men of the Lord already know this, but you're seeing people and the heathen starting to recognize something is not right with this man something different is coming that they've never seen or never thought of or never heard of is coming man and we through the spirit and power we have by shimmy our shot we have been made privy of it the hopeful elect you put that chip in your brain and you watch and i'll tell you right now he is he is evil embodied nobody wants to put a chip in somebody else's brain unless if they're evil and sadistic and i'll say it right to his face i'm not scared of him and i die right now i don't care there's nothing he can do to scare me and i'm not scared to tell people what i believe because i'm telling you if you get that chip in your brain from elon musk you've been fooled just because the chip is the one that makes you uncomfortable when you type type in Neuralink and greek beta germatra you get the numerical value of 666 that Greek. Now, Gematra, apparently, I don't know a bunch of stuff. I'm not that well versed in my history, but Gematra is when they give words or letters and numerical value. When you type in Neuralink and Greek Beta Gematra, 666, that's why I believe it. Okay, so did you, where did you read that? Did Remember, you read that online or? I typed it in myself. I went to the, to the Greek Beta Gematra calculator and I typed in the word Neuralink. And it's numerical value in Greek Beta Gematra 666. And see the guy trying to dumb him down like it's some conspiracy theory online. No, he told him I did it for myself. I seen it with our own eyes, man. And we know what the scriptures say about the number of the man. So we're seeing this man system come come to light. And we're seeing that this man is in control of it. Esau Edom, so called white man, is in control of the beast system, man. This is, this, is, this is the man of sin. Now, now check this out, man. Now listen to what he's saying. And people are starting to make these things understandable, clear and clear. It's, it, it, it's not sin. Mark of the Beast is not sin. It's not uh, sleeping with white women. It's not all these uh, different <laughs> mindsets of, uh, of, of what you want to think it is. Man, now it's being made plain, man. We know for a fact it's the RFID microchip and also the Neuralink, man, because it said, it describes it to the T, man. Now, these Israelite groups are pushing anything else besides the RFID microchip being the mark of the beast. They're false prophets, man. And the Lord is going to judge them for what they've led these people in, man. Destruction. Because the Lord said your blood, the blood of the children of Israel will be on your hands if you have led them in the wrong direction, man. 
warned everybody that they will use the drones, drones by the thousands, searching the whole area always to see if your chip communicates to the drones in the sky. This will take place. And if, you're, if you do not have a chip, whenever they scan your body and you uh, are, are basically without one, they send the, the, the authorities to come and find you and the drone stays on you with all kinds of technology like infrared and all kinds, you can't run, you can't get away from it, okay? So it hovers over and it flies around and follows you the whole time until the authorities find you to give you the chip or you get your head off and, it, and they don't even give you a chance. You either take the mark or you, you're done, okay? So this is what I was showing. See, he made it plain for you, man. So now you're starting to understand this thing is real, man. The men of the Lord have been prophesying from the apostles and elders on down have been prophesying this. Now you're seeing heathen bringing them information out that they've been bringing out for many, many years. And you won't have a second chance to get it right, man. They're going to they're gonna make you take it. They're going to give you no way out but to take it. And we know if you take it, what's going to happen to you. So that's the reason why we're being built up in the spirit of the Lord, man. Now, before these we wicked days come, these evil days come. Because... They're going to have that technology where you, they're able to see scan in your house. You, you already seen the, uh, the, um, the uh, Bluetooth, uh, the Bluetooth information, like the, uh, the, the Bluetooth, um, uh, the Bluetooth where they can basically check your, see through your Wi-Fi through your house, man. Where they're going to be able to scan you and see if you got it. And like you said, if you don't have it, they're going to have different. You know what I'm saying? They might have drones up. They got these towers up. They're going to they're gonna make it where you have to take it, man. You're not going to be able to escape not taking it. You're not going to be you're not going to be a part of the um, the system, the cash of society, the system to eat and go to stores and different things like that to participate in society. But not only that, you're you're not going to be able to walk around the earth without it. You're not going to be able to it, be uh, what you call it exempt out of it. Well, I don't want to take it. I'm not. I'm not going to take it. No, they're going to. They, if you don't take it, they're going to put you to death. And that's the whole point of this, man. This lesson, man. We are in those times, man. We we try to warn you before it comes, because when it comes, we can't warn you of that. Then. This is Revelation 13 and 15. It says, and he had power to give. He had power to give life into the image of the beast. Uh, let me go up one more verse. This is 14. This is Revelation 13 and 14. It says, And he deceiveth them that dwell upon the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image of the beast which had the wound by the sword and give and did live, slock him. And that's just the beast system, man. Rome 2.0, man. Rome all over again, man. This this system, that beast system that they had, they never been able to basically put it together. Now they're they're formulating it now. They put it together. It says, and he had power to give life into unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And that's the point. If you don't want to worship the beast they want to put you to death man if you don't want to worship the beast they're going to put you to death verse 16 he says and he calls all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads now you see in a narrow link man being put in your forehead man and in the rfid microchip put in your right hand let me get this let me get 15 in another translation man this is New Living Translation, Revelation 13 and 15. And it says, I should get 14 as well. Yeah, let me get 14. New Living Translation, it says, and with all the miracles he was allowed to perform on behalf of the first beast, he deceived all the people who belong to this world he ordered the people to make a great statue of the first beast 
who was fatally wounded and, and then came back to life. And this is Rome all over, man. And we're seeing this right before your eyes, man. You're living in biblical prophecy. Verse 15, this is New Living Translation. He says, he was then permitted to give life to this statue so that I, it could speak. Then the statue of the beast commanded that everyone refusing to worship, it must die, man. So if you don't want to worship and get down with this program, he's going to put you to death, man. And that statue is going also going back to that Baphomet, man, which he, he, he uses and he worships, man. Moloch, all these statues and in, in, in different deities that they worship, man. It's, it's all tied up in one, man. Good news translation. It says the second beast was allowed to breathe life into the image of the first beast so that the image could talk and put to death all those who would not worship it. So the way, the way of life that Esau has is all dictated by his beast, what he worships. Your Baphomets to you, your Molochs to you, all of them, man. So if you don't want to worship this man's system and be a part of it, he's going to put you to death. Believe it or not, you're not going to be able to, to uh, go to the, uh, get a lawsuit. And, no, man, we're coming into those times that, that, that lawsuits and all that shit ain't going to matter, man. Because this man is going to bring in his system and all the, 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 um, the, um, the, uh, what you call that? The, um, the founding fathers, so-called founding fathers and all that, 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 um, what you call that shit? Damn. Um, they call it founding fathers. They set up different, uh, um, laws and uh, laws of the land. That's all going to be out the, out the window, man. That's going to be null and void, man. It's, they're not going to abide by that. It's going to be draconian laws, man. And you're not going to have any say-so. They also got in, in, in place Noah High laws, man. So we're coming in in times, man. Revelation 13 and 16, it says, And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, and in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. See that? We see it. We, we, we have been revealed who this man is, man. He says, here's the wisdom. It's like, here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding. See that? Let him that have understanding Count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And then what the guy said he did, he looked up the number of a man, man, which is the Edomites, man, say no earth, man, the counterpart to say no earth, man. And his number is 603 score and six, man, 666, which the man said in Gematria, he looked up Neuralink and it came out to that number, man. The man of sin, man. The man of sin, Esau, Edom. So these things are being made plain to us. And you have to understand we are in those times, man. Because a lot of people want to put things off. It ain't going to happen in our lifetime. We won't see it no time soon. You're going to have, you're going to see it in your lifetime, man. Because the Lord is moving this, moving in this direction. And you must see how the Lord is moving, man. Because the Lord has made us friends. So we see how the Lord is moving, man. We've been, it's been made known unto us. This is Revelations 14 and 9. It says, and a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh power, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, man. So if you take this man's chip, 
this man uh, linking is in your brain, you're gonna die in, in, the, in the presence of the Lord and the angels, man, in that lake of fire, which is gonna be, which is gonna be those thermonuclear missiles, man. That's gonna be shot over to Babylon and Great, man. That's the hell that the church don't understand is coming on earth. That's the hell that we're warning you from. And the smoke of their torment, see that? The smoke of their torment. So you're going to be in that fire, man. You're going to be burnt up. He says, in the smoke of their torment, ascend it up forever and ever, man. So it's a long period of time. Your spirit is going to be in that flesh, man. And I don't know how long you're going to be in your spirit. The Lord keep your spirit in the flesh. But it's going to be a long time, man. And so, and whosoever receiveth the mark in his hand, and, and his name, slacken, let me slow down. It says, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name, here is the patience in the faith of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of power and the faith of Yahweh Shah. See that the Lord is asking us to keep the faith of the Lord, man. What you've been taught, what you've learned, man, and not take this man's mark. See, it's, it's going to be a balance, man. The Lord is about balance. So he's going to have so many people take the, the man's mark and he's going to have a, a, so many people, the elect are not going to take the mark, man. This is the patience and the faith of the saints, man. We're waiting on the Lord's return and we're waiting on the Lord to, to um, make this man make his move, man. But the point is, your faith in Yahweh Shah is what's going to get you saved. And if you don't have that faith in Yahweh Shah, that's going to get you destroyed. Let me get this real quick. Yeah, we're getting to those times, man. It's very close. This is Galatians 2 and verse 16. It says, that's when we get the point here. He said, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. So you, you can't keep the law, statute, commandments perfect here. So you're not going to be justified by the law, man. But by the faith of Yahweh Shaham Mashiach, even we have believed in Yahweh Shaham Mashiach. See that? Your faith is going to get you saved, man. That we might be justified by the faith of Hamashiach. See that? We're going to be justified, justified by the faith we have in the Lord, man. And not by works of the law. For by the works of the law, Shall no flesh be justified? See that you're not well. I'm, well, I keep the laws, that's commandments, to, uh, every perfect. They don't. Make, you're not going to be saved by that. You didn't be saved by the faith you have in the Lord, man. That's what you're going to be saved by. This is Galatians three, and I'm going to start at verse um, twenty five. It says, "But after that, faith has come. We are no longer." Under a schoolmaster. It says, For we are all children of power by faith in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. See that? By faith in the Lord, man. See the law, the law was our schoolmaster. We follow the laws to the best of our we bought the laws, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, but we can't keep, keep it perfect here, man. That was our schoolmaster to keep us in the right path and the and have faith in the Lord, man. Verse 27 it says. For as many as you, as many as you as have been, so like, let me slow down. It says, for as many of you as have been baptized into Hamashiach have put on Hamashiach. See that? You have to put on the anointed, man. That's how you're going to get out of this, man. The times you're coming into, you're going you're to have to put on the Lord, man. That spirit, that faith that you have in him. And be covered by that grace the Lord has. New Living Translations, Galatians 3 and 27, it says, And all who have been united with Hamashiach in baptism have put on Hamashiach, like putting on a new, putting on new clothes. And being baptized is being baptized with this word, man. The word has, has clothed us. And we're put on that. The Spirit of the Lord, man. And we're being clothed by the word, man. Being justified by the word. Good news translation, it says, you were baptized into union with Hamashiach. See that? We was baptized into union. Being baptized with this word, the washing of the word, man. And now 
you are clothed so to speak with the life of Hamashiach himself. See that? We're speaking with life of Hamashiach himself. So we have the spirit of the Lord on us, man. And you have to understand that we're going to have trying times that's coming, man. And you have to know the Lord is with you. And you have to, you have to boast in the Lord, man. Not saying, well, well, I can do whatever I want to and I can just do, you know what I'm saying? That's not you know, being simple, but boasting, having his faith in the Lord, man. Knowing that the Lord is, is dealing with you because you're doing the work, man. You're doing the will of the Lord, man. You're doing everything the Lord asks you to do. That's how you boast in him. This is uh, uh, Mark 11. And uh, I'm going to drop down to verse 22. It says, and Yahweh answering, saith unto them, have faith in power. See that? That's what the Lord told them. Have faith in power. And we have to have faith in the Lord, man. We're, we're, we're not going to take that mark. So we know we, we're going to be subject be, to be put to death. To be beheaded, man. But our faith in the Lord is going to guide us through, man. It's going to get us through these trying times, man. It's going to get us through these trying times. 22. Yahweh Shah answering said unto them, have faith in power. For verily I say unto, unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. See that? You got to have faith, man. The Lord said, what you, whatsoever you, you ask about faith is going to be given to you, man. To escape the judgment of the Lord, man. Escape, escape the, 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 the guillotine. To escape uh, taking the mark. These are things we're going to pray for, man. Because our faith is going to grant it to us. This is what the Lord answered them and said. Have faith in the most high power, man. That's no way, there's no way around it, man. And that's the reason why we do these lessons, to build you up in the faith, man. To understand we are fighting just like you, man. We believe and have faith in your house, shot just like you. We love the Lord just like you. 24, it says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them. See that? When you praying to the Lord, believe the Lord is going to make good on His on your prayers, man. That's how you boast in the Lord, man. Making, making the Lord, making the Lord answer your prayers, man. Because you did what He asked you to do, man. You had faith, and ye shall have them. See that? The times you coming into, we're going to have to pray. That's the only thing we're going to have, man. You're not going to have any weapons. You're not going to have. You might not even have no brethren. You might not have your, your, your kids, your, your wife around you, your, your, your husband around you, whatever. And the only thing you're going to have to turn to is your how about Shem Shah, your faith. That's all you're going to have, man. So believing in the Lord is what the Lord said, man. This is your how Shah word to self. Let me get this another translation just to make it even plainer. And everyone says the same exact thing. New Living Translation. Then Yahweh shall say to his to the disciples, "Have faith in power." See that? That's what he required of them. Have faith in the Lord, man. Have faith in the Most High. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Good news translation. Yahweh shall answering them said, "Have faith in power." That's what the Lord is telling us to have. Have faith in Him. Have faith. That's all you need, man. That's all you need. Let me get this real quick. This is Psalms. Uh, 62. And uh, this is Psalm 62. Just get the point. In verse 8, it says, Trust in him at all times. Ye people, pour out your heart before him. Power is your is a refuge for us. Salah. 
He is a refuge for us, man. New Living Translation. He says, Oh my people, trust in him, trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart to him, for power is our refuge. Good news translation. It says, Trust in power at all times, my people. Tell him all your troubles. See that? Tell him all your troubles. Everything you're going to go through, you're going to have the Lord on your right hand, man. Tell him all your troubles, for he is our refuge. He is going to comfort us, man. He is going to be with us. He is going to guide us, man. And you're, you're not going to be able to, 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 to get, 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 tell anybody that if they ain't believing and having faith in the Lord now, when those times come, you're not going to be able to wake them up to this truth. If they don't have it now, they're not going to, they're not going to get it, man. So if anybody you know that you, 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 you want to see if the Lord have mercy on them, give them this worry, man. If they don't receive it, the Lord is not dealing with them, man. And that's just the simplest plan we, as we can possibly put it. This is Romans 17, is one, Romans 1 in verse 17. Good news translation, I'm hitting all three. It says, this good news tells us how power makes us right in his sight. See that? This is accomplished from, from start to finish by faith. See that? By faith. As the scriptures say, it is through faith that the righteous person has life. Ooh. So the men of the Lord, the elect of the Lord are going to escape. They're going to escape, man. Um, King James Version says, for therein is the righteousness of power revealed from faith to faith as it is, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Your faith is going to carry you over, over this 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 destruction, the times of, of Jacob's trouble, the times of the mark of the beast. That's going to take you over, man. Into the to the kingdom of heaven, man. Being beamed up into those chariots, man. Good news translation. For the gospel reveals how power puts puts people right with him, right with himself. It is through faith. Man, let me say this. Let me read this again. For the gospel reveals how power puts people right with himself. It is through faith from beginning to end. See that? If you if you have faith in the Lord, you, you, you're doing the right thing, man. You're being uh, um, brung back to your how about shem how shah, man, by your faith, man. As the scripture says, the pe the person is who puts who is put right with power through faith shall live. See that? You're being put right with power through faith, man. So the Lord is gonna have mercy on his elect, man. And you're you're in a good stead with the men of the Lord if you believe and have faith. And that's what the Lord is requiring us of us to have faith in him, man. We he knows the times are gonna get bad. He knows we're gonna be in a situation where, where we can't eat. Where our back is against the wall. We have nowhere to turn. Man. Esau got all the drones up. You can't go nowhere. You can't do anything. You haven't took the mark. You might be put in one of those camps, man. And the Lord knows this, man. But he's, it's a test of our faith. It's a test of our faith. But to everybody else, it's a test of their destruction, man. It's a test to their destruction because... They're not going to pass the test. But the Lord is going to bless us, the hopeful elect, to make it through our faith. So Lord willing, it was edifying. I'm going to end it there. Shalom.